After going through the details of DAQ, let us look at the characteristics of extended matching type of multiple choice questions. An EMQ consists of a theme, option list, lead in statement, and stems. Here is an example of an EMQ. The theme is immune response and the options mechanism of immune response. And there are eight options all related to mechanism of immune response. The lead in statement for each of the following scenarios, choose the most appropriate mechanism of immune response from the option list provided. And then there are five stems. Let us look at the stem number four, which describes a situation. A 14 year old boy with complaints of difficulty in breathing and tightness of chest for the last three hours after visiting a florist. A similar episode had occurred in the past when he went to a rose garden. Now students are required to match this stem with one of the options provided in the option list on the previous page. Now students can choose any one of these eight options. The most appropriate in this case would be release of mediators by mast cells. The students are supposed to choose one of these options for each stem. Some of these options may not be used at all, whereas other options may be chosen for more than once. Here is another example. The theme is chest pain and the options are causes of chest pain. There are some cardiac causes and some causes related to gastrointestinal system. There is one of the cause is herpes zoster and other is gastrochondritis. This is not really a good option list because each area or system should have minimum of two options for students to choose from. The lead-in statement for this question, for each of the following patients with chest pain, select the most likely cause from the option list provided. The first stem, a 72-year-old man presents with worsening chest pain for one hour duration that feels like someone tearing my chest. The pain radiates to his back on examination, the blood pressure is 160 over 90 millimeter of mercury in the right arm and 105 over 70 millimeter of mercury in the left arm. A murmur of aortic regurgitation not previously present is heard. Now student has to match this stem with one of the options provided in the option list and most appropriate choice in this case would be dissecting aortic aneurysm. The second stem uh, of this question relates to cause of chest pain uh, originating from gastrointestinal system. Here is another interesting example. The theme is facial expressions and the options picture of different facial expressions. There are seven options. And then there are uh, the lead in statement match the following descriptions with the pictures given as options. And there are six options given as description. And students have to match each of these description with the pictures provided in the previous list. For example, the, this, for description of fear, the most obvious choice would be picture A. And for um, a description of happiness, the most obvious picture is F. Now looking at the description of components of extended matching questions, theme is usually a symptom 
sign or a laboratory result. Options are the causes, differential diagnosis, or mechanisms of pathogenesis of diseases. Themes are uh, preferably from the same system, discipline, or area. If more than one area, for example, cardiac and GIT causes, each area must have more than one scenario so that students have to choose from multiple options. Having only one option from an area make it so obvious choice. Lead-in statement aims at linking stems or scenarios with the options and stems are usually clinical vignettes and should be clear enough. A good student should be able to give a right answer without looking at the options. This is what is called the cover test, means this is one way of testing the clarity of a stem, that the stem is so clear that a good student can answer uh, that question even without looking at the options.